Ladies, gentlemen, eventually this pack will open. There it goes. And we Oh, you mean like, oh, your joke was that like, don't wear the Jordans, just keep them protected in their, in their box. Yeah, I got you. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I wear all my Jordans. I fucking love my Jordans. Jordans are fantastic. Well, I like Jordan 1. I really, none of the other Jordans really resonate with me. Fabled passage equals learning. What does that mean? Welcome back, guys. Hopefully we're going to do better this time than we did last time but you know realistically how can you do worse you know well i guess you could i guess, I guess you can go 03 again like it's not realistic to do it too i'm just gonna take the abzan charm i think it's strong i don't like sidisi because i think milling three cards uh is a lot in limited i i don't know like i mean maybe that's just crazy maybe that's just me but cast out seems very very good you can also take evolving walls but evolving walls is kind of trash um elysian carry added seems good yeah let's take elysian carry added i mean that's probably better than it's not better but it, like it's mana guys oh and offenza that's nice that's a that's a that's a, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh Mike Wazowski. You guys know who that is? I bet you do. Oh, hooded hydra. Hail Hooded Hydra. Okay, so I think this card is just great. And I think our only other option is like Seeker of the Way or Dead and Protector. Yeah, we're taking that hood, Hooded Hydra. How do you get double Harden Scales? I mean, our pack messed up once, but I assume that wasn't a normal thing, but I guess maybe it is. Temple of Silence? You know what? Based on my uh, appreciation for mana. The pool is not a huge one, but like they, there's only one of each card. I mean, that's how cubes work. It's every, every card, there's only one of them. So... Yeah, it's hot, hot, hot. Eh, light form is kind of meh. This pack is pretty meh. Freebooter's okay, I guess. Oh, flying and lifelink, though. I do like the lifelink. Whatever. If we flip like an Anafenza, that'd be pretty sweet. Will you watch Masters? Who's playing Skeletor? Is it Mark Hamill? And yes, I probably will as a huge ma I, I mean, Masters. I grew up with Masters of the Universe, man. 
So it is unlikely that I would not watch a a sick ass modern Masters of the Universe on Netflix with Mark Hamill as Skeletor. Like try just try and stop me. Um I think we might just obsessive skinner here. Oh skinner. Skinner The Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, in this part of the world, localized in your kitchen. Well, Teamer, Mardu, Teamer Sultai. I guess it's that guy. Delirium's coming up, I guess. If a confrontation's fine, I guess. I don't think we're going to be outlasting. Mm, this guy's fine. Kills the thing. I feel like Colossal Majesty could actually be pretty good here. This guy, this guy, putting two counters on the thing. pack is hot garbage hot garbage again you see i've got some garbage at 103 uh pretty much all sets are in this cube i don't think there's like really a a limit i think this is better oh man my hand smells like latex i had the friggin' latex gloves on while i was applying the polyurethane and now oh god it's so bad all right well we got Abzan Charm for tokens. We got Nissa's Judgment, Hooded Hydra, and now we have Durable Handicraft and Obsessive Skinner. Skinner! We definitely have a token theme here. Abzan Ascendancy. Oh, there's the hardened scales. I bet Abzan or High Sentinels comes back. That'd be pretty sweet. I think we take hardened scales here. Yeah, let's take hardened skills. How was Dreg Mangler worse? Because I think Nissa's, Ju Nissa's Judgment is a removal. And it like puts two counters on things when we have Colossal Majesty. I mean, I guess it puts Dreg Mangler puts three in if it's in your graveyard, but I'd still rather kill something. Hot blooded, hot majesty. I was only thousand eyes is making some bugs. Each creature in your graveyard. I don't know if there's going to be that many. I think I just want to go with Blossoming Sands or Prismatic Vista here. No, I haven't seen any duplicate cards, man. I I, I, don't, I think there's only duplicate cards if like the pack is doubled. I had a pack that was doubled. Like it was the same exact pack back to back. That's the only, I think that's the only way you're going to see a double card. Foul Renewal is also pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the two for one. This guy's actually very good. So is Master of Pearls, though?
Power three or land. We'll just take the remove. That guy's just removal, right? Hot butter. I mean, we don't have any tokens, though. That's the thing. Like, this guy could make tokens if he dies, but otherwise, like, we don't really have a token theme. Like dead bridge chant generous gift could be all right or just like a two drop or neck revolver <laughs> i think i kind of just like the two drop here how many other warriors do we have and offends a soldier awkwardly enough like assassin insect druid mutant rogue plant we have literal no warriors okay so i think i'm just taking the neck revolver Hot blooded bug and disease. Buck and bee has got a big old disease. Experiment one's actually pretty decent with the uh, hardened scales. Moment of craving. I'm just gonna take experiment one. Insect mutant druid turtles. Oh, armament core. That's a strong one. When you go to the gym, don't forget to work your armament core. Are there any Nikki Bees in this keep? There are no planeswalkers. And I don't think they have Nicobolus creature in here now. No, it's not going to be because Nicobolus is Grixis. And this is the cons cube, so it's only going to have cons clans. I have a fever of a hundred and three. Whenever another warrior enters the battlefield under your, under your team's control, put one encounter on this guy. And then you're like, oh, that's an assassin. I mean, I don't know if I... I, I mean, I, I feel like I can go 2-1 in pretty much any draft as long as I draw my lands. Trying to be Eternal is like the, you mean like the game Eternal? I've actually never played Eternal. God, I hate that Bear's Companion goes so late. I'm always like, but why? have one land again <clears throat> take the light format for now well I had a feeling this was coming back I also think it's very good with our deck feed is also good silk crap's fine I'm not like super high on silk crap I think I just want the abzan I think this is one of the better ones. Giving all your guys in play. Like, it's good if you if you draw with a bunch of guys on board, and it's good if you draw before your guys are on board, because then when they die, they get count. They, you get spirits, so. Interesting. Eternal is a magic clone without planeswalkers. Hmm. You ain't never got high on that silk wrap? Nah, brah. I ain't about that silk wrap life. Blossoming sands to cast all my spells. That's a good one. Here's Master of Pearls. I need a Birds of Paradise up in this piece. Ha 
hot-blooded, hot-blooded. Hot-blooded. Generous gift is probably correct. Okie dokie. Um, what does it say? When it or another warrior enters the battlefield, do the things. Not a single land for us to take. Hot blooded surveyor is good, but we have like hard if we have like thirteen. I think Armorcraft Judge might be the pick here. That's really kinda weird. Enchanted creature has death touch and destructible. So you can make it a two two. You can sack another creature and you can just attach this to something. That's friggin' weird. That's a very weird card. I think it's actually Armorcraft Judge. Like I feel like we're gonna have, we're gonna draw like at least two or three cards from this guy. It's a terrible first pick, but what can you do? You know, utter end. Utter end seems good. I like exalted angel as well. Hot blooded. We have like no other warriors. So I'm gonna take this guy out for now. I should probably take utter end. If either one of these two come back or the sultai player, even I'll be yeah, I'll be okay with that. Oh, I do like a Knight of Autumn. See the unwritten, though. Yeah, Artifact. Monsanster, yes. Artifact died real quick. It was actually shocking. Skitter Boy? Who's that? Sir Skittering Surveyor? I mean, the problem is, look at all our three drops. Like, I guess... Ne oh, didn't want... I, I didn't really want to take that, but I don't think it's the worst. What was I going to take instead of that? I don't know, so I couldn't have been that good. Obsidat's aid returns any permanent from the graveyard. I'm pretty sure we just take Grand. Yeah, it was, it was probably night. I'm gonna take Grand Coliseum here. I need the lands. Comes into play. So many lands come into play tapped in this format. There's the gain one life lands. Uh, there's the the fast lands. So they're gonna come into play tapped usually after turn three. Grand Coliseum does. All the temples do. There's another temple that we'll probably take. Nothing in here really. Yeah, I just want the land. Pilgrim's Eye, not bad again, but we have a million for three drops. So I'd rather just take lands instead of cards that get lands. And this guy is ideally a six drop. Concealed Courtyard. Okay. We had Animation Module and, and Hardened Scales or Durable Handicraft last uh, one of the last drafts. And it's actually pretty good once you get it going, but it's very mana intensive. Uh, Elite Scale Guard. Skin Thinner is probably the pick. Ox Map the Waste is not terrible here, right? I'd rather main deck skin thinner than Nantuko Vigilante. If we get a Siege Rhino, man, a Siege Rhino would put this deck over the top. Boop, 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 boop. 
Man, we could have had both Chiefs. That's crazy. This is actually a pretty decent two drop. Make a one one every other turn. Is it was it better than any of these? Not really. It, I mean, I'm not a huge Master of Pearls fan. I just don't think we go wide enough for Master of Pearls. Maybe we're not. I think I feel like we can just get enough counters and enough big guys for CD Unwritten. Oh, Doom Blast would be awesome. Hot blooded. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe. Uh, five mana is a lot for this. I'm going to take the oust. Freaking 12 flying damage. My mark. You guys are so excited. Toughness 3 or greater. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Obviously, that's aid came back. What is destroy a creature draw X where X is the number of counters on that creature? Like, you can use it on your own guy, I guess, and draw, like, three. Eh. This guy's actually, I mean, just a four or five. Oh, wow, animation module came back. Jeez. Giving each creature with a counter death touch is pretty relevant. Yep, all of these are playable. I'm pretty sure this is our deck. We're very heavy green. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, let's try seven seven nine again and see if we uh, see if we get punished for it. And then we wait. Uh, I don't think there's any... Th What's the Abzan dragon? I don't even know what that one is, actually. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Dramoka is just red... Is just green-white, right? Dramoka's not Abzan. That's pretty good. Well, it's the Abzan leader. <laughs> That's fair. Well, no, because there's like Intent. Intent is like a teamer dragon, right? So there's got to be an Abzan version, right? Volrath, I'm pretty sure Volrath is Sultai.
Teneb is teamer, is he not? No, Teneb. Um. Yes, Teneb the Harvester. You're right. You're right. Oh, uh, yeah, it's in my EDH deck. Wow. Totally forgot you actually play the Abzan Dragon. Awkward. Okay, now we're talking. We are now talking. I might just draw two and lose two. This guy costs what, three to flip? Yeah, we can just keep up Abzan Charm here. Crackling Doom. Oh, man. Oh, that's too bad. I don't like Tenna, but it looks like he's judging me. Joke's on you. He is judging you. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he's better than everybody else. He's not. Can't read mine, can't read mine. No, you can't read a poker face. This carry added's doing some work, my dudes. Well, that's pretty cool that they didn't kill this guy. But we don't have a second thing, so that's cool. Uh... Well... I guess we actually play this guy and then play Nissa's Judgment to kill this. Uh, they don't fight, right? They just deal damage, right? Choose a stone target creature and punch this one. Three card types, instant, creature, and sorcery. God, that's brutal. Thankfully, we have Utter End for that thing. So what you can do to gain five, you can do three damage to a player or Planeswalker, and you can do neg two, neg two. Am I might just better to get this guy down? They can't draw cards, right? They don't have any blue mana. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just put it on here like this. How am I enjoying it? I'm actually enjoying it a lot. Uh, outside of the mana screw that we're getting. <laughs> uh, 
the mana is not well it kind of is because this costs two black to flip and this is a swamp Eh, yeah, Pilgrim's Eye. Watch, they're gonna get an island or a. What's a green? What's a green one do? Swamp. Sure. Okay. So they could block here and then give this neg two, neg two, which is actually pretty good. So we're gonna go around that. I guess they could have done that. They take eight, but then they'd have to. No, they actually have to gain five. So we probably should have done that, but they don't want to do that. They're like, no, I'm good. I want that one instead. Okay. I'm gonna do something here. Probably game five. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this. Oh. Carry my, carry my. No, you can't read my poker face. All right, we still won. They're like, look at the lands I have in my hand, and I'm like, buddy, I feel you. You don't got you don't got to tell me about lands. I do like vigilante here because friggin' Obelisk of Valar is no joke. Sure. Sure. Of course, you play 41, get three lands in your opening hand. Never didn't have it. Oh, Black Source one time, boy. They have Crackling Doom, which is a little scary. That's how we like that's how we like it. That's how we do. That's how we do when we hit our land drops, my dudes. Uh white, black, green. And they don't have red for the crackling doom, which is super sweet. Do I have any haste creatures that I can I can plop down next turn? No. I don't. Oh boy. Oh, they missed the land drop. So look, another another cube match decided by lands, unfortunately. Draw a card for each creature with a 1-1 counter. I don't think we have any. So I guess we're just gonna play Armor Craft Judge as a body because it also makes our armament core better next turn it gives us a creature to put a counter on next turn so despite not drawing any cards still pretty good Can't read my poker face. One, two, three, four. They're probably just going to concede here, so I'm just going to get it out of the way. So that's fair for everybody. And we can just stop wasting time. Actually, I'm going to put the counter on this guy. Reason being, it makes it a 5-5, five, five, so if they play Crackling Doom, we get to keep Anafenza.
Uh, by saving the channel fireball, yeah. I mean, I've I've actually I'm actually good friends with a bunch of the channel fireball staff. They're great guys. Two super fun and balanced games. Death, death, duplicate, found your champion. And yeah, their hand is good. But again, we drew our lands, so that was cool. I enjoy drawing lands. If someone was like, what's your favorite thing on Magic? I'd be like, casting my spells. And they're like, what's your, favorite, your second favorite thing on Magic? I'd be like... Drawing cards. Drawing cards might be first. You can't read my poker face. Am I planning on doing probably not probably not tonight, but I will probably be back tomorrow. Cause it's already 1 a.m. here, so probably trying to go to probably trying to get out of here by like three. Casting my removal spells on their creatures. That's what they're used for, and that's what they'll do. My name is Super Fritz. I work in the sandwich mines. Oh, God. Can you imagine if we draw one green source? Oh, fuck. Turn one, turn two, turn three. I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. It's a risk. We have more green than anything. Do it! Oh, fuck. We got wrecked. To be fair, I'm not mad because I, this is a risk I decided. I took this. Plus, if we hit green, we're still in great shape. Oh, my God. We're so good at this game. Wow. Land. Oh, biscuits. Bobby biscuits. Welcome. This is what it feels like to live the dream. Pretty sure there's no world where I block this thing. The problem is, what if it's that dude that's like, discard three cards? I'll block. <laughs> Gotta flip it? Sure, it's Exalted Angel, isn't it? God, every time! How did it get so good? How did it get so good at this game? Four, five, six, seven. This is eight damage if we attack here. Oh, we can actually make two mana. We can have five mana here. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want this.
I mean, Exalted Angel is pretty good. But I think we're okay right now. Colossal Majesty is also pretty good. Oh yeah, draw a card. Draw another card. Let's see what let's see what we hit here, my dudes. You and you. Draw two. I think we play the land, right? Is this on, on their turn or on any turn? Thinking of each opponent's upkeep, sure. Seems good. Yeah, this is getting annoying, but like one, two, three, four, five, six. We get to draw another card, play like, if we can play both of these, it's kind of insane. You got it. Oh, and this is Judgment seems great here. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we only have seven mana. That's unfortunate. Five, six hundred until yeah, that's okay. So I'll just put another counter on this guy. I don't think they can deal twelve here, but I mean, crazier things can happen, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a hell of a draw. That was a hell of a draw and a hell of a game. Suspension Field seems okay when they have Exalted Angel. What were the morves? Spiraling? Uh, oh, no. Abzan Guide and Pine Walker. Okay, both of those get hit by Suspension Field, so we'll definitely bring that in. Um, This kills morves, which is great. This kills Pine Walker and the other one. Yeah, that game was... That game was something. I'm going to take out Experiment 1. You're not very impressive, unfortunately. Throwing it all away. Okay, so this is a, well, actually... Hardened Skills into Obsessive Skinner. I don't think we can do it, right? Yeah, this is so much better. Let's put the core back. I mean, we were at six, and they had three dudes on. We were at 12. Like, it was pretty close. I will keep that on top. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Guys, look, we're drawing lands. It's kind of wonderful. Doe, a deer, a female deer. So we can actually flip this guy. He becomes a 3-2, and then the Abzan Ascendancy makes it a 4-3, and then carry added. Oh, we're just snapping off that dude. Ooh-wee! Um, can't play anything else, unfortunately, because it's only a 3-2, but... If we draw a land, we can go Skin Thinner, Abzan Ascendancy, which puts three counters on our guys. One, two, three, four, five. That'd be pretty good. Okay. Okay. 
this Elysian carry at it has been just just crushing it. Just not even close. Um Okay, they're fighting maybe? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. Well, I mean, I guess we're just stuck with four mana now. Oh, no, not that one. We want to go... Let's play Colossal Majesty here. Because if we Abzan Charm put two counters on this guy, we can draw. Not next turn, but, you know, in, in the future. Histrodon. Oh, yeah. They're at 10. It's not nothing. They didn't do anything. Fascinating. Well, they can always block here. If they, I don't think we want to trade a land for that, though. I really kind of just want to draw two cards here. Like, I do want to hit land drops, and we can play Skinner. Uh, we're just going to play Hardened Scales here instead. That's pretty nuts with Abzan Ascendancy and Obsessive Skinner next turn. Oh, they actually can't even activate this. I don't know why we didn't attack there. They don't have a second black. That's terrible. Does an Everdeal's count damage to a player draw card? Sure. It's got Trample. Black Source one time, so we can... So we can uh, Epic Confrontation this guy. Not Epic Confrontation, uh, you know, flip it upside down. This mono creature lands over here. Okay, that guy's good. Black Source. No Black Source. Okay. If only we had one more land. That would be cool. I actually probably should have played Skinner here because it's better mana. If we do draw land next turn, we can play... We could have played this guy and the Nissa's Judgment. We have three card types in the graveyard. If we get a Sorcery, we can start... Sure. Fascinating. It's a combat trick? Are you going to become immense? Oh. Sure. Oh, get the speeder. Land. No land? No land at all, huh? Okay. Seriously? <sighs> That's annoying. so fucking annoying oh boy well I'm not going to two here still get to draw an extra card utter end is decent
Let's see if this does it. Okay, and our guys are huge. I guess they could activate all of their lands and attack me next turn. We take four. Or they just play like Doom Blast here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I guess we get a spirit out of it. Oh, biscuits. Just incredible. Yeah. Seems good. Probably should have put it on this guy. Because then if they kill it, we get another blocker out of it. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yep, exactly. That's exactly why. They have no cards in hand. One, two, three, activate. They can only activate one creature land. I guess they can flip their Exalted Angel. Yep. <laughs> Jesus, it's like, why do I even bother? I don't understand. Now we're only over for five. What can we get back here? Nothing to kill it. If cast out, brain vigilante, I guess. <sighs> yep, that's pretty much what Dune Blast does. Just kind of wrecks you. Oh, snap keep. <laughs> and with hardened scales, I'm just like, well, that sets us up really well. We actually have a two drop. We do need a black source here. Not perfect.
Wish this had vigilance. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just makes creatures with vigilance. Oh, a neck revolver. I mean, this is actually pretty good with Abzan Ascendancy, right? Like, put a one on counter on our dudes. Well, that's not great for us. Yet. We also need a black source, so... Mm hmm. Hmm. Can't cast this. This doesn't do anything right now. I mean, I'd rather be able to play Nissa's Judgment, put two counters on things, play this, draw two cards. That seems like a better long term plan. I mean, we know one of these is Exalted Angel, so. Okay. That's pretty decent. Next, Armorcraft Judge draws us two. And if one of them is a land, we can still suspension field this guy. That's pretty okay. Yeah, not going to block here because if they have any sort of trick, then we just two for one ourselves. We lose two three threes, which is pretty terrible. That's got to be an Exalted Angel. Oh, we're supposed to play the Armorcraft. The, uh... This draws us cards with Majesty, though, so... I mean, if they want to pay five on their turn to flip this, or six, or whatever the cost is. Okay. Sure. You can double block one. Yeah, that's worse. Okay, that's good. That's nice. I mean, we can play our Neck Revolver for five, but I'd rather just wait. Draw a card. Hooded Hydra. Settle down, settle down with the commotion. I'm an ocean, you're an ocean. Got to eat that guy. Well, that's so cool. Basically the coolest. Mine's a 7-7, seven, seven, it's got 7 power. 
I hope your guy is an out and kill don't kill my guy right now. That would be sad. That's not it, yeah. I think we're good, yeah. I don't know. Draw a card. Our deck is P sweet. Alright, so <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Gain that life. Oh, they're going to activate their Quaggy. That's real sad. I think that's actually just fine. Oh, that's good. Hey, that's pretty good. Like having Hooded Hydra to come to come out and play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can make this a seven, seven, but it's actually significantly larger than that. The lifelink is just the fucking worst part. And I still have Exalted Angel in our deck somewhere, so. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dear God. Cool, so this gets trampled next turn. That's super cool. That's just the absolute coolest. So we're probably just dead, right? Because, like, they all have trample, so it's 5, 10, 16 damage. So we have to block. I guess we can block 6 of it. That guy doesn't get trample. So we take 10. We can block 2, 2, and 1. Sure. All right, so we're not dead. And that's the important thing. Is that the important thing? I don't actually know. So this we take 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14. This we're taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, that's, that's lethal, all right. Cool, exactly lethal. <laughs> Maybe I don't like this key as much as I thought I did. <laughs> sure. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, this seems like a keeper. Where's my Anafenza? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that. We need double green to flip hooded Hydra, so. You got it.
Take Abzan Charm? Sure. I mean, they know it's Hidden Hydra now, but if we play it for five, we only get three tokens on it. So I'd rather just flip it and make a five five. Settle down, settle down, what's the commotion? Sure. <laughs> oh god, answers for everything dot deck over here. I mean, we're not going to deal with this guy yet because we don't have to. Hmm. Wish we had one more land. That'd be nice. Oh, uh, no blocks. I'll flip this guy and make you discard three cards from your hand. All right, Dylan, you may sacrifice if you gain control dark creature that player controls. Sure. <sighs> this has been amazing. Ruthless Ripper for a, an utter end. Just terrible. I mean, if we play this, they just kill it with the Solomgar assassin, so... And it's always weird when no one in the chat says anything for 10 minutes. Like, I just feel like, is it broken? Is there something going on? It's just very strange that every single person is like, yep, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, Abzan Ascendancy, huh? That's a good one. Yeah, I'm pretty mesmerized by my beard as well. I don't blame you. <laughs> Four one two. Sure, I'm just gonna go to the next game. This is not very fun.
Yeah, I mean, I thought I liked this cube a lot, but then I can't do better than like a 1-2, and it's like, I don't really understand why. I mean, I assume I'm doing something wrong. That's my first uh, assumption in situations like this. I will bottom that because now we have more than enough lands. Good old skin thinner against the black deck. Yeah, sure. Sure. We could just play Necrovolver here as a 3-3. A three, three. That's not exciting. You're an ocean. You're an ocean. Settle down, settle down. What's the commotion? So let's cast him with kicker. No lifelink kicker, but still a 4 4. And I'll 100% block this morph. Uh, it's pronounced morv. <whistles> settle down, settle down, settle down, commotion. What's the temperature out? Last I checked, it was 36. Let's see what it is now. 25. Actually, surprisingly, not that bad. I'll be right back. Time to go to the kitchen to grab some bologna sandwiches. Don't forget the ketchup and tomato. The way Michael Scott intended them. You guys got bologna in Mexico? Mark, where are you from? Brazil? Mexico? I actually forgot. How much does Riptide cost to flip? Like a million? Two blue? Alright, no blocks. Let's settle down, settle down, settle down, down, down. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's judge. Draw a card. Oh, it was the Riptide Entrancer. That's funny. Going down to the Riptide. I'm gonna make them a dog fat. You know, that's a Vance Joy song. You guys know it? Brazil, here we call Bologna Mortadella. Yeah, I'm, f I'm familiar with Mortadella. That's also, uh, isn't that Italian as well? Very close. Yeah, Mordell is a large Italian sausage or luncheon meat made of finely hashed or ground heat cured pork. With the what does it do? Armament corpse. I feel like the, the the problem with this cube. Here's the problem. Here's one of the problems. It's actually in the in the article about the cube. It's mentioned that there are not a lot of consistent two for ones or ways to gain card advantage. Um, and the problem with that is that once you get in a position like this, it's very hard to recover. I mean, I I, I don't I don't know if we're going to recover necessarily. But why would you? Did you not? Okay, sure.
Taking away to the red tides. Zimity bop bop, skibbity boop, ba doop doop doop. -do. See, they're coming for me now. They have three cards and we have two lands. We'll sail down further. Morton's Della? You just made that up. All right. And they got back what? Kite Sail Freebooter. <laughs> you got it. Enjoy. All right. So they have one card in hand. Is Dirk 3 going to get there? Experiment one. This is where they go. Dig through time. Are you kidding me? How many cards have I predicted this game? It's got to be like 14, right? Fucking God. Yeah. <laughs> If, if I could win as many games as shots I call, I would have the most trophies in every draft or cube ever. It's It would be unbelievable. You guys would be like, oh my god, how does he win so much? And you're like, well, he just calls all the shots. You're an ocean, you're an ocean, settle down, settle down, attack for the motion. I don't know what haste creatures, or what flash creatures they have. And if they want to remove this hooded hydra, they're more than welcome to. Because this ain't, doomfall ain't gonna cut it. What? Why would they block the, oh, because the other guy's trample. Sure. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, cre sure, don't care about that. You did? Wow. Dig through time into dead. That's something right there. That's really something. I kind of like indestructible here, actually. Let's bring that in instead of the experiment one. No. It's the children who are wrong. Skin thinner is probably bad here. Settle down, settle down. What's the commotion? I think this hand is good if we can get a white source. Give me a white source. Keep it. Daddy needs a white source. Or a two drop. I'll take a two drop into a white source. Okay, that's not. That's neither of the things I asked for. Concealed courtyard? Yeah, dig through the is just grave digger. Huh. Well, I'll be. When it enters a battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on a creature. It's not going to trigger experiment one, but. Might as well get in there for two, right? Oh, I'm going to kill it with my death card. I have death wind all three games on the turn I need it every game. Okay, my dude. You got it. Did you guys see my death card? I played it. <laughs> oh, settle down, settle down. What's the commotion? Why is this song stuck in my head? Ah. <sighs> Sure. I 
I haven't seen a counter spell in this format, so I don't know if there is one. I don't think there is. I grabbed all the parts and I am assembling the sandwiches in my room because I can't. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Sandwich assembly, go. I want a white source. I want a white so I can play this. Abzan Ascendancy and kill with this adamant will. That's actually not terrible. Cast him face down. Sure, you got it. And offends a back up to a four four, boys. Woo! That's actually pretty good. I grabbed all the parts and I'm assembling the sandwiches in my room. Like, that's just, what a hilarious sentence that is. I grabbed all the individual parts and I brought them back in here. And now we're making sandwiches in here. I mean, as long as the Santa Fens is like, I got indestructible, my dudes. That's pretty good. Is this power? Three or less. Wow, that's really good. Actually, I guess we can just add it with whatever they... Actually, that's fine, I think. Okay, that's really good. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's going to cost like a million, right? Really? <sighs> sure. That's annoying. Wow. It's like they have it all. It's really impressive. just like assembling the sandwiches it's like uh it's like a it's like a superhero team's battle cry assemble the sandwiches dolomite sandwich is not real god Man, this this dragon's getting aggressive. Sure. Cause you're an island and you're an ocean. Settle down, settle down. Ocean commotion. <sighs> Two morphs, huh? What would you do for one to kill this guy? I'm just gonna pass uh, I mean they double block we don't know which morph to kill like it's not 
it's not an ideal situation right now. These these are both very scary. They should just call this the anxiety cube. I'm like, oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what to kill. Like, there is a lot of... I think there's a lot of skill that's removed because you're just randomly choosing certain things. I mean, I'm 100% blocking one of these dudes. Hopefully we choose correctly. Sure, that's fine. I guess this is a Riptide and Trancer, so we chose we chose incorrectly. Yeah, of course, of course we chose incorrectly. Why do we just block? Like we block this one. Like how do we lose? Like it's unfucking real. Like. It's so random. Like, oops, I randomly chose wrong. Let's get one creature. Gnarlwood Dryad. Armorcraft Judge, which would have been great last turn because we could have got a drew a card. I guess it's just Gnarlwood. Ugh. I'll take the 3-3 three, three because like we we get to put a counter on it next turn at the very least. Foul renewal goes to the graveyard. Yep. They have one card in hand. I guess that's good. <laughs> We're not dead yet, but like I hate the randomness of it. Like, okay, I'll block your guy. Oh, I blocked I blocked wrong. I randomly, I flipped a coin and I chose the wrong one, you know. Vegemite stuffed crust Hawaiian pizza is probably the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. No. 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 It's really hard to move your mouth when it's upside down because you don't know. I'm gonna get rid of this because we get to draw two cards from Colossal Might, so. With power three or greater. Uh, well, how about that? Actually, maybe we just attack and put a. Hey, I got one card, and they're at eight. Like, what are they gonna do? They got a block, right? Now we have 6-6, six, six, we're drawing two a turn. Let's see if that does it. No, of course it doesn't. Oh, God. I mean, that's cool, I guess. That's kind of bullshit. I guess we're on a I guess they got a side. They're gonna play the 4-3 flyer. Oh, Inc Enclave Cryptologist. Yep, that's pretty good. Make sure you pump that guy up to the maximum. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a this is a real back and forth here. Well, at the worst, we get to put this land on the bottom. <laughs> So now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a 14th land on the bottom. So in the next nine cards, there's three lands. That's not bad. I think we can do something about that. Thirty-three percent to draw. Oh, they just cycle that thing, huh? Okay. Now you have a choice. You kill this guy, you get a 1-1, one, one, or you kill this guy, and I get to keep a 4-4 four, four and draw two cards next turn. So. 
And both creatures are lethal. Are we going to win this game? What is even happening? What is that? Oh, this twisted. Neg six, neg O, and neg six, neg O, and then they flip it. And then they flip it. Wow, our first two one in the cons cube, man. What in the what a time to be alive. I got upset. I was getting sad. I was getting sassy. I was getting I was getting frustrated. And then we end up winning. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore coolstuffinc.com and manatraders.com manatraders has an awesome subscription service so you can check out the links and promo codes all in the description below and you'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription at manatraders.com with the link and promo code so be sure to use that it's also a great way to support the channel and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys